This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi, Chef KD, and Lindsay Anderson. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Health Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. It's a beer, bait, and tackle. Here we go again. You keep your wallet in there. Well, no, I'm good today. Michaela's shopping. I just saw her. Y'all going to see it a little bit on the show. She's buying everything out in the store, so I'm good today. Uh, oh, I can't believe it. We ought to be giving her what all she does. That's Look, true. if you're listening to Paradise, Louisiana, you've been watching it for years, you hear that voice coming that's on. Huh? At the introduction. All, that, all the advertising. That's Lynn, Lynn Rollins. Yes, sir. Four times broadcast a year. Now he's a Hall of Famer. The Chris made the trip down there. Yep, the you see a lot more on the show, here. and also Jack Haynes. Jack Haynes, that's Famous right. Famous bastard. First, the first Louisiana angler to win the Bassmaster Classic. We got a lot of other things coming on. Uh, we well, got the Redfish Cup. The Redfish Cup. Makeda going to give us up to date on that. We made a pretty good little trip. Yeah, pretty, a pretty good little trip. Little trip. I, I qualify. i tell you what. We learned how to fight the heat. Man. I never believed it. The hot as it was that day. We, we, our cameraman got a little queasy one time. Trevor. Yep. Trevor, what's his name? Vampire? Vam Pram. You get well, the we got a little. We got a little queasy. <laughs> but we went out to Sacre and the week Didn't before, catch a soccer leg. Not but, one. Not even a throwback. But we did call boy fish, some big brim. Right. You were bad on them goggle eye. We even caught two, three or four bass. And, uh, and two catfish. Two catfish. One was a polywide, but one of them is a fillet. One's a fillet. No. And that, that you was fish a good with trip. Gary, you learned about fillets. But hey, it's just to tell you, you know. A lot of news, too. Got a lot of news like the great fishing reports. That's it. So guess what? We're going to be right back with a whole bunch of Paradise, Louisiana. Oh, well, oh gosh, I forgot. We look got here. a little, we we got, got we a got little, little graph. graph coming in here. Always come. Check how fine this is. Wait all right. a second. You believe? Y'all saw Arnold Schwarzenegger Jay and Dan Jay Vita. Thomas. How about the likely twins? Look at this. Yeah, Jay Thomas. Coastal Performance. You can get these now on his website, all this hunting gear. Yep, Coastal Coolers. Coastal Coolers. Thank you, KD. I couldn't, almost didn't remember the name. Thank you, Jay Thomas. Hey, we appreciate you, and we'll be right back because we appreciate you. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana, voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Hi, I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. Celebrate your mom, dad, or grad with a Benny's gift card. They'll feel loved getting their car cleaned inside or out, or getting gas, snacks, their oil changed, and more. Available at any Benny's or Benny'sCarWash.com. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and here at Superior Bait and Tackle, Michaela Myers. 
You do so much. Every time I go, y'all, you help with these tournaments, especially the Redfish Cup. You've been with the Wildlife and Fish for how long? For six years now. Six years. And I know I see you all these tournaments and what you do. You work with Wish to Fish, which is real close to my heart. We had a busy weekend last week at the Redfish Cup. And uh, from the captain's meeting all the way to the tournament and the weigh-in, you were there taking pictures. Let's talk about it. The, the captain's meeting, y'all were full house. He, was, well, he even picked up about five more boats, so he told me it was going to be about 69 boats. But I think we ended up with 75, am I correct? Right, 75. Yes, sir. And uh, I talked to Benny, we'll show you a little video before we get out. Benny told me, he said, Gary, he said, uh, they're catching most of their fish down. The Hopedale, Dela Crow, they're running. They're going to run across the lake. Maybe that's one reason it was down, you know, for the far as the boats, because they know they had to cross two lakes, maybe three, and they were worried about it. But he was tickle pink. It turned out, <laughs> and the catch, he predicted 29 pounds, and I see Chance Angel and Kevin Roberts won with 28.31. And it won $11,400. Right, it's a beautiful now, fish. Tell you what, let's sneak real quick and see some of the, how we took off. I mean, the captain's meeting, and this is some of the video. We're going to run a little, a little video right now and talk to some of the people. The captain's meeting and the takeoff the next morning, and then we'll come back. When we come back, we're going to talk about the winner. I want to welcome everybody to the America's Redfish Cup, sponsored by Tito's, here at the dock in Slidell. I'm Captain Clinton DeArmas. I am one of the tournament anglers, and we want to see you with Paradise, Louisiana. TV, Gary. Oh, he got her on TV. I know she's going to make your head off. Put a little chili first. Oh, chili first? Got it. Just in the bottom. Just a little bit. Don't let it run it. Just a little bit. A little bit more. That's good. That works. Perfect. Oh, a little more than that, right? What do you want? Green relish and onions. Onions? And what else, Mr. Garrett? A little bit. There you go. That's what else would you like? Cheese, jalapenos, sour cream, uh, sauerkraut? Yeah, 75 boats. That's tremendous. Tell me, where do you think most of these people are going? Most of these people are probably going to run over towards uh, St. Bernard Parish today. There's a, a, an incredible amount of fish over there, and they are all just out there. There's a bunch of pogies out there right now. So they're just gorging on pogies, and these fish are short, and they're really, really fat. So everybody's excited for this tournament today. I know it's a hot summer day, but there are going to be some tremendous weights brought in. I had a prediction of 25.74, and I know that's going to be blowing away. We'll probably hit 29 pounds. We'll probably hit a record today. I believe that we'll hit a record today. 75 boats, all of them ready to run. Okay, Michaela, tell us, tell us about these winners and where they were fishing. You found out all that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, first place, uh, like we mentioned a minute ago, Chance Angel and Kevin Roberts had 28.31 pounds and won $11,400.
Uh, second place came in uh, Beaufarve and Nikki Savoy came in at 27.66 pounds, $2,900. Third place, Kevin Harvey and Lance Trahon, 26.46 pounds, $2,300. That's what they took home. And um, I know most of these guys went and ran to Delacro and Hopedale area to go get their fish. Um, it was just, it was a wonderful tournament. Tournament. It was hot out, but we had a, we had, they had a great time. We had a great time. It was all around. It was a wonderful weekend. Part of this tournament, we had a little whist of fish that was yeah. brought in there. Jada Dean and his <laughs> mama and them and his daddy. We're fishing with Captain Matt McKay. Matt made a long run. Right. He was right. catching. He said, "I'm making this wrong one before the storms come here." We ran all the way over there. We're gonna be bringing you more of that. In, in a week or so, and uh, but I can tell you this: when that boy got his trophy, I know you got some video. You got him walking up and down, but I know you got some pictures too. Right. But when he got, he wouldn't let that trophy go. He was so proud of that trophy because he weighed in a fish. We saved it, put it in a live well. The rest of them went in the ice box, and they cleaned them for him. So uh, that was a great part of the tournament. What what was outstanding in your mind? about the tournament. I know CETO donated the food the night before, and they're always there assisting uh, Chris and Colleen. Chris That's and right. Colleen. Chris, Colleen. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Christian and Colleen. Right, but they did a tremendous job. They were there, and them, and them hot dogs were unreal. They, they were. Christian and Colleen, are, they're, they're wonderful. They really are. They're great people, and, and they help a lot with the sponsor. What, what's the tournament. next Redfish Cup? Um, the next one is in October. It's going to be in Venice. That's um, Tito's Talk. Tito's Last Call is the name of the tournament. What else can I tell you? Thank you for all you do for Wish to Fish, for Wildlife and Fishers. And I'm positive that Benny Sanchez loves y'all to death. He keeps y'all dressed good. <laughs> he he does. keeps y'all with a lot of gifts. Benny takes lot care of Lots to drink, a lot to eat. I know they cook on them Traeger grills. Benny, I, I, I thank you for letting us be part of it and hope you're satisfied with what we did this week. <laughs> Give me a little bit more warning next time, my buddy. We always love you. So stay tuned for more Paradise for Weekend. Hey, we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. neighbor Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go get you. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag redfish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. Stay tuned, Paradise, Louisiana. It's my first trip in the spillway this year. You've seen all the cars already. We thought we were early. Waiting on KD. He's supposed to know where they're at. I might black cloud him. He might not even see that. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Gary, finally got the spillway down to three foot. We're waiting for our 2018 Spillway Soccer trip. Here it is, and cloud in the sky. We ain't got no excuse. Yeah, it's a full moon, though. We'll oh. find out we're a little late. <laughs> KD, all uh. these people that just landed. I'm, a, I'm late again. You've been out here two or three times. Yeah, so it, the pressure's on you, or you're going to put me on some fish. The pressure's on the fish. We'll see. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to fish.
I bet you he got him a gas for I'll tell you what, uh-uh. A boy fish, I told you. A boy fish here, you can wear these things out right here. Look at that boy fish. And a good boy fish, too. First fish in the box, KD. Hey, bro, you the dollar man. I only points right now, right now. This is a sackle jig, look. I've been messing. Hey, yo! Watch it. Let me, let me tell you why I got to be careful. See that gill plate? It'll cut you in a minute. Just like a razor blade. Just like on a redfish. Watch out, bump. There it is. First fish of the day. We probably can, we probably can stay here and wear them out. Goodbye. I got the jig tied on. I want the string to come off like that. You see how that bait's gonna hang like that? It gives you a horizontal presentation with your bait. Now I'm gonna take my little triple ripple grub. I like the chartreuse and pumpkin seed. I like black and chartreuse. I like popsicle. I'm threading it on there and I'm coming out right here, right by the color change, and I'm gonna push it on. Now you see that bait? All right, now what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of something to add a little juice to the mix. A little crappy ammo from the crappy psychic. Okay, let me tell you something. It works great. What's even better, and I don't have it today, is some of my Berkeley crappy nibbles. If we had those, it would be super game on. But any little smell, you can take a piece of earthworm and just a pair of scissors, cut you off a little piece, and you straight it on that hook just like that. And then you put it in the water, and you just wait for your carp. There he is, gone. <laughs> Thunder carp. You see that little rattle in it? Got rattles on it, glue on. That's how that works.
I didn't know this was going to be a scout trip. Katie right. got me on a scout trip. He got me on camera. You see that? He got me on a scout trip. Just like he did to me at Old River. I mean, uh. Grand Isle? Grand Isle. Yeah. See, wasn't nobody catching no fish that yeah, day. They, they, yeah, but you, you run them all. Oh, I run them all. Yeah. Too many boats. Sometimes you do want. Sometimes you run where the boats are. Instead of run away from them. That's what we're looking for. Thought they had a little one in there. Don't get that sick off. Okay. Oh yeah. He ain't like the big one, but he he fry him whole. Katie cuts them like that. Mm. Do down a fish fry. There it is. Ain't too big. First guy can I open it up. Golly. I can move it something, hit it. Yeah. That's a log. Okay, that would be great. Wood cover like that, that little cat. Hung up? Alright. Oh! Big. Big one. Sackle. It might need the net. Sackle bass. Mm. Might jump like a bass. You want me to net him? I think it's a big sackle. Oh. Oh, that's a four pound test line. That's a bad one. Yeah. Triple ripple. That four pound test line, you don't need no net on it. Oh, you got four pound test? That's, yeah. There's a worm on him. It's coming out of the wood. That's it. That's a fillet. That's a Shakespeare synergy little rod. Thing ain't even four foot left. Hannah's pan fish. It's amazing. Little rod. Little real. Take care. That's a product of pure fishing. It was good about this. Anytime you fish any kind of Spin cast reel, it's an underspin. You, sometimes you have trouble with pickup. See, how, even with light line, look how easy it picks up. And you set the drag. This is a four pound test line. Normally I fish for six, because when I go someplace, they get a big old sackler. And then like a while ago, we catch a, a good bass, you know. You want to get off. Look at that big brown. That way we're looking for too. That's a keeper. Ooh. That's a spillway brim net. That's a handful. That's hey. what we were here for today. You know, we bought bass stuff. Because, you know, they turn on an angle past the bass stuff. But we came here for pan fish and we, we had to work. It's moving so much where you caught them 
yesterday or three days ago. The way there was water moving. And today at the full moon and tide not moving, no wind. But these little rice are good back again. Whether you're catching brim, goggle eye, sackle, barfish, whatever you want. It's real little, it's short. You you wouldn't think you can get a lot of distance. I want you to see this calf right here. Look. Little bit. And another thing is that jig right there, fishing with kids, and you hang up a lot, and if you have a touch, that's that triple tail jig. I mean, grub, but look, you see that? That little, that's like a, a bass bait. Watch the jig. <coughs> Just a flick of the wrist. Kids, women, anybody that's not used to fishing. And even get a respondent, you see it. You see what KD's using too, he uses a spin cast. Usually when KD's in a boat, he got about four or five kids. Oh, he's on. Them. Gary said he had to have a goggle eye, so I put rig me up a little weedless beetle spin. Another species. Like Matt would say, species, species, we got a bunch. Panfish. That's what we call panfish. You see how that rod bend? That's when you got four pound tail flying, it serves as a thing. Oh, I knew it was another good one, kid. KD, way out in the middle. Another handful. KD, KD. I knew you would come through sooner or later. I'm definitely later. Look at that. Bull brim. Get a bait. Good enough. Get over 90 degrees, you gotta hydrate. Ooh, really hydrate in the winter too, but this has been a lifesaver. Put me on some fish, KD. Gary, I don't know. I don't think he's gonna make it. I think he's also ran. Yep. That's why he hit it so hard. Pound for pound, meanest fish in the world. As soon as it hit the water, I said, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He got me around a tree now. I wasn't paying attention. Boy, he's a big old cat. I um, mean, a big cat. Another catfish? Blue cat. Oh, a good blue cat. I, oh, yeah. but I, I don't know if I'm going to get him. Just take your time. Now he's you got around him out. a tree. Bring him out. You better get them Bring him out. Get Bring him, him out. We're going to get on, him. Baby. Come on, baby. What in the world? Come on, we're going to, we're going to break. Bitty old, look at that. Look at that big old cat. Old ride. That ain't a big old, but that's perfect size. That's a That got Gary gone. Responi. All right, turn him. Bring him out. Ooh, now, look how beautiful this one is. There you go, sir. All Happy right. birthday. Look. Ain't that beautiful? Look. Now. I need my mitt. I didn't bring my mitt. Who gives a mitt? Look here, KD. Look. Yeah. Look, look where he was hooked. In the skin, look. It's still tough skin, though, look. Woo. Now, there's a difference in this one. Ah, pretty little quick quirks. I thought I'm going to pick him up with my hand, even though I ain't got my mitt. In my salt water box. Open the box. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him in the The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call.
Hey y'all, it's Sam Barbera. I'm with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit that raises funds and provides support for the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. We assist with numerous projects like black bear, whooping crane, bald eagle, as well as family, youth, and women's workshops. For all of the information on the foundation, visit laWFF.org. We need your support to help our wildlife and fisheries. Visit laWFF. Org. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Welcome back to a new segment of Paradise, Louisiana. And uh, KD, before we start anything, the big news is Lynn Rollins and Jack Kane. Look, Lynn, how can I tell you? You've been with us, I don't know, as long as I can remember. I know 12, 13 years you've been hunting and fishing with us. Start doing our voiceovers way back. You, you everything you ought to be in a broadcaster. Number and, one. and finally got the total recognition for it. Well, you know, he was, like about. I said before, he was broadcast a year, about four years on Louisiana broadcast right. a year. And, and you've seen him on so many national networks, local networks. He was the voice of the Tigers on CST, does a lot in the CST, loves the SEC network. Chris works with him a lot of times at LSU. They always getting together. And they, he does all the voiceovers, and they're all our sponsors. But... More thing than that, you need to be in a boat with him. He loves the outdoors. He loves his retrievers. His first retriever died. He's working with one now. He, he's so much fun to be on a goose or duck hunt with. He's just so excited. And now he got a good vehicle. You ain't got to worry about him breaking down. He, he travels all the time. He's just a super guy. So we got some comments from him. Let's go get them comments. And when we come back, we got some comments from Jack Haynes. Let's get some comments. And this is Lynn Rollins getting his due at the Hall of Fame in NACA. And, and, and right now I'm tighter than the top string on a Texas fiddle. So <laughs> those are the things that, that come to mind immediately. It is a, an immense honor to be here as a result of the voting of my peers. Uh, there was some lunacy evidently uh, as we went through that, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. So it is with great pleasure, I say with pride to my friend and to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first winner of the Distinguished Service Award in Sports Journalism and Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, Lynn Rollins. Gary, maybe I don't have the same amount of time that some people do to uh, enjoy the outdoors, especially on the weekend, but I enjoy it for the same reason that they do. The, the, the solemnness, the spirituality, really, of, uh, of duck hunting or in a marsh trying to catch that elusive redfish or whatever the case may be. There's something natural, there's something pure, and, and there's something that, that soothes the soul. I think, it's, I think it's inside all of us. And so... When you get a chance to go into that relief zone as opposed to a stadium with 100,000 screaming football fans, yes, that is fun. It's important to a lot of people, but there is a serenity and there is a stillness and there is a purpose for being in the outdoors. Hey, that's awesome with Lynn, but now Jack Haynes, who has been the epitome of a professional bass fisherman, won the first Bass Masters Classic as a Louisiana angler. Uh, he has been in the hunt countless years. I think that was a 77, 78, so that's how oh, far back that, it was. That's how far back it was to get rid of that 50. But I want right? you to remember, I did an interview with him at the high school state championships at Toledo Bend. His grandson fishes St. Thomas Moore. So. Can't, can't get it out the bloodstream, but check this out, a little bit of what uh, this honor means to him. Uh, you know, when we got into fishing and they started this thing in the early 60s uh, when uh, Bobby Murray won uh, the first Bassmasters Classic over at Lake Mead, we started reading all the articles and wanting to do what he did. And uh, my job 
as a crop duster at that time afforded me, because it was so seasonal, the ability to go to other lakes, and then they built Toledo Bend, and, you know, normally when I was started fishing, I was fishing in all of the local Henderson, Basin, Chaff I mean, uh, Lacassine, anywhere I could get that 12-foot uh, boat in <laughs> that my grandpa had built, and, and uh, so when the uh, Bassmasters started, and we read the articles about Bobby Murray, and Went in on a Zorro spinnerbait, and Toledo Bend was just in. I decided that I wanted to try to see what we could do. And Rice City Bass Club had started. It was a, a, in the infant stages. And I got, uh, I was one of those that wanted a lot of information. And I, I, I met probably the guru of bass fishing in the Crowley Rain area, all around that area, and his name was Topot Morrow. And Topot taught me probably more than anybody else in bass fishing. Oh, yeah, I'm sitting here with all these great athletes and coaches and, you know, press riders and all of that. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed by all of this and I'm extremely humbled as everyone else was here. But uh, I'm just, just happy to be involved, I promise you. Now guys, look, we got a meeting coming up this Tuesday, right before this, when I'll be able to report on it because we were recording right in front of it. But you need to check before you go snapper fishing just what the story's going to be. Because right now they're saying the season's probably going to hold till the 9th of July. It may do some weekends then or some weekends later. We're just not sure. So get online and check it because the original survey said we were going to make our quota by about the 8th or 9th of July. But y'all know the wind and the nasty weather we had we went from like 117,000 pounds catch in a week down to 20. So they're going to tally all this up. They may hold off. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Just make sure you check but before you, you, you go can, out. You can believe that the Secretary's Wildlife Fisheries, Mr. Jack, said he's going to make sure the fishermen get taken care of. But if, you, if you're watching this on Thursday and the meeting tomorrow, what you can do is uh, you can also go to their website, like you said, but you can check the advocate out. You can check the websites for the Sportsman magazine. Everybody's going to have this. Oh, yeah. It's something so you got to be news. stay on top of. But uh, I bet you if we can get a half a day's extra fish, he's going to get that to us. Now, one of my favorite things to eat, and everybody's like Chris Morgan says, he'd hate to come back into the world as a shrimp because everybody wants to eat you. Right? Well, they closed a bunch of shrimp season, but let me tell you, they kept a few of them open. But bait fishermen can still can catch bait. So if you got but your But as favorite, of this airing, all coastal Louisiana will be closed for white shrimp. That's it will it. be closed. Shrimp season now closed from Mississippi State Line west on the second. And right. will be closed on all coastal waters. Today's the second while we tape. And we're taping, so it's closed today. The Feral Hog Management Advisory Task Force will meet July the 12th. Now, if you're still having trouble with hogs, everybody's having trouble with hogs. I went with a guy today, he's been killing him. He said he ain't made a dent. He's going to start sending me pictures. He asked me if I want to go video. He's catching them in their traps. You know, one thing bad about them, because they're trying to give his meat. Some of this meat is good, and they're trying to give it to people. We're trying to eradicate them. I don't care whether they eat, and matter coyotes eat them. I don't care, because they, they're running some, some farmland. They're running hunting leases. They're, hunting, they're running everything. But he was telling me, if they don't get to them quick enough and shoot them, they die. In this heat, in that pen, they die. All Task right. Force meet July the 12th at 9 a.m. in Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries headquarters in Baton Rouge on Quail Drive. Got any comments? Get them to them so they can bring it up. And uh, we're going to be right back because Lord knows we got some good tournament reports. I got something to drink. Uh, you got me choking. Hey, look, you talk about hydration. You know we got our design in, power and all that. We went fishing Saturday afternoon. Stuart said, man, you got enough water? I said, yeah, man, I got 14 Dasani's, four Power Aids. I even had one of my little monster drinks that I like. I got news for you. We ran out. I was melting ice cubes in the jar. So you better allow at least six or eight bottles of water per person when you get on that heat. But okay. We'll be right back. To make you hydrate. feel better, I talked to John Chiller at Coca-Cola. It's he coming? got you some math, no monster drinks coming. Is Zero it? monster. Zero monster. All right, we'll be right back.
watching Paradise, Louisiana. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Outfish's original power bait by 45%. Disperses a supercharged scent field that attracts more fish and triggers more strikes. Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Welcome to Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. KD, you know, been hearing about the track going and coming. They ain't there. I talked to a lot of people, and especially one of the best fishermen, trout fishermen, Grand Isle. He said he can go catch all the little fish in the back. Well, I'm talking about Tommy Vidrain, but the big trout hadn't showed up until this last weekend. The yeah, wind was rough, people were fishing in the back, and uh, we get some great reports. Now, I got this report mostly from you because you've been talking with a lot of people. You've been going back and forth to try about say the best with live shrimp. That's it. The full moon is over behind us. Shrimp season is closing, makes for lighter tides and clear water. So And it's working. Look, what the, the charter I had the other day, we had a limited reds, and we had a bunch, probably 15 or 20 small reds, and uh, a few, few keeper trout and a bunch of small trout. But we stayed behind the island. You know what you can get a lot of them too right now is is cockahoe. You know, croaker. Well, you know the bridgeside dynamite. You can go to bridgeside. You can find croaker. Still, the Carolina rig and croaker. I even heard some people fishing croaker under a cork. Now you usually don't do that. You know, you Carolina rigging, uh, and and then uh, when, let me go and talk about poncho train a little bit. Yep. I was over there the other day and uh, watching the people come in. Uh, Chaz has been fishing the trestles, but they're catching baby puppy drum, they're catching sheephead, okay? They're using live bait, they're throwing them up against the pollen, they're getting out of the heat under there, they're catching some, the trestles. The trout, they're running way south. Marcellus, you know where Marcellus yep, castle. castle is? Off of them runs, they're catching white trout. White trout, grandma, I seen 10 boats there when we were running out with, with the young boy. Uh, now, if you're Jada, catching those white trout, make sure you throw them in icy water, not on top of ice, because that'll slug, keep that meat firm. The sludge. You Use got that, that sludge, sludge like a lot right. of them do. And then, and then don't leave them in the freezer that Man, they, could, they could go by Circle K and just get a whole bunch of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, sludge. Yeah, that's slushy right. cups put yeah, on there. Good. Yeah, but no, KD. You know, and, and uh, they fish in conviction plastics. They're just like they're always doing. But live shrimp still down there. Island Marina got a ton of live shrimp. People are going out in Lake Captain catching fish. They're going out in Mr. Go and catching fish. But the run, the best run, they're running all the way to Hopedale. Well, that's what we did with that captain. They ain't running to Hopedale. When I tell you, you can call him. He still got some openings. Uh, Matt McKay. He's one of the best captains around. We run them rough things with that little boy in there. When, as soon as he got there, you ought to see these redfish. They're unbelievable. You're going to see more of that next week. But let me tell you this. My, my buddy, Ken Lambert, real close. Him and his brother, Hal. Hal been busy, but Ken had his grandsons there. They came in earlier in the week. Them boys are going out in a kayak right out of Clipper Estates. And they're fishing this right here. Look here. I ain't even got it rigged for it. You see that? That's a screw in hook. See that screw where it screws in? And, and you bear in that hook, fishing it with us, where it got grass, you can fish it, you can fish it like a frog. You can drop it in and out the grass. It is unbelievable. And you get a good sharp hook. This is a four, -art. some people use five, five art hook, and use a bigger because it'll go further back. This is the way them boys were rigging that. I'm talking about these 12, 14 year old boys. They're catching. I got some pictures they, they here. They were. They Two were. days, I know. One day they caught eight or ten. The next day they caught them, caught a big flounder. I ate, I ate some of them bass and, I, and a flounder. Now, now look, I, 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 I see this picture now with you and April Hash. 
You got where'd you find the skinny suit you wear? Look like you'd have lost about 30 pounds. Well, man. I look good. You're looking good. I look almost good as her, huh? But no, uh, I'm not going there. She got it. She April Rogers. And it was Randy Henry and the boat captain out of Island Girl at Bridgeside Marina. And they were almost 60 miles off Grand Isle and caught these in the Green Canyon. She remember taking that picture. I, I asked her more and gave me more information than she did. So you want to I got, I got, I got one snap. that's close to my heart. This old buddy of mine, good buddy of yours. Larry Dwaron Jr. has been talking about it. He's got that big old Freeman cat coming in with the four outboards. Well, it finally came in. And he went out with his favorite crew. It's Larry, his wife Angela, son Joseph, and daughter Molly. And they went out, and uh, man, they had this huge tuna come up alongside the boat. Man, they finally got him to bite. Two hours later, 157 pound yellowfin. Check out this picture of Joseph with his big old grouper. He said they broke it in right, and they read it. And uh, all I can tell you... You know, you're talking about Larry. I've been waiting for years. He's supposed to take me, me and his son, his bass fishing, me fishing in Morgan City Bass Club. I, I want, I'm still waiting on my trip, Larry. But this Not time that of he year, hustles them. But look, this time of year, he just loves that offshore yeah. fishing. His little girl and them, they, his wife, their whole family, they're gone. Well, you're but look, standing I, I grand Isle now. I got, a, I got one hot one for you. Oh, yeah. After that bite slowed down... Aaron Pierce, the guy that him and Roger invented that four horseman cork. We all work out that Lee Bell They call him for you right now. They call for me right now. They limited out 150 trout for 10 a.m. Okay? Today is Monday. This was Saturday. You talk about smoking them from a slow bite to smoking them. That's unbelievable. But the opposite side is the old buddy, Ron Amy, and uh, Cesar Garcia, they go down to Delacro. And he year. gives us that report. He said the bite window was four seconds. Yeah, that's right. a different. Yeah, they and didn't have Michael much. Long sent, sent yeah, us Michael, a big picture. Thank you. That's Michael some awesome pictures. Sent a really we appreciate nice it. Specs and reds, way to go. And and talking about specs in the Fouchon area, James Emily just just left his mama's his mama's funeral. She taught him right. He goes over there. He was towing me some pictures. He was fishing out of Fouchon. He was fishing in the Calumet, and they went out there to the tanks. They were catching bigger trout. He didn't catch the thirty something, but. They were big. They were all in the three and four pound range. He had a bunch of them on there. Live shrimp, but he brought some live cockos. The boys get them, and a lot of times, them bigger fish, putting them on the Carolina rig, and them cockos, they hit them. Well, you know what the best live bait there is to throw? The one the fish going to bite on. That's one the fish going to bite Because they don't always them. bite the same. I, I, got, I got it before we get out of here, the fishing fork. Ken Lambert. Yep. He feeds me, he cooks. He told me to make sure to tell you that you wouldn't own this if they cooked for me. His son Shannon made some shrimp pasta. But he said, no, my daddy made the gravy. I cooked the pasta. I said, well, sure, I can cook pasta. I can you, boil pasta. Jerry was bragging the other day he learned how to cook. I said, really? He said, yeah, I can boil pasta. <laughs> look, this is really, hey, really Ken, good, Ken. Hey, look, I don't mind Shannon. eating other people's cooking. I'm going to put this right oh, out there you? now. Because when I get the OV, I'm either cooking or eating. Okay. Now, here's some Fresh meat water. you got. Fresh water, our long tall buddy. He's been to all the magazines and everything. He's getting too big. For, I thought he was getting too big for us. He did a show the other day on Don's show, and it was great. And they were over there catching them big sackalay. But his buddies really caught him right there. See these pictures right here? They're from Metairie, Louisiana. He took fishing this week. He said they had some awesome day in Bob Black off the pipeline canal and the side canal using black and white tube jig. I had some short truce tails like he put on them and I, when I fished with it. I didn't touch they them. They're in my boat. Okay. I mean, they're in my box right now. This is the other, my extra one, but he's putting that little bite on there, that little, it causes it to ammo. Well, you he's remember put, the other day we were getting nibbled on and not bit, and, and those then crappy you, nibbles from Berkeley you, and a little socket. You, you he did. put it on the hook, and they loaded up on it. That's what it did. And I, I want to thank him for that. Keep it up. Along with the crappy socket, ammo, and short truce. Pitches the guy in the blue shirt is Mark Mayer, and the other is his brother Mike Mayer. So oh. thank you again. Keep us in touch. Keep us on them fish. Cripe is psychic. You and your wife, y'all working hard. I'm glad y'all having some success. Well, and it looks Can't look, go nowhere. You know We use this all the time. We talk about these guys right here with the Matrix Chad. I mean, Chad's and them really put some work. bad. He's been putting film. We, we, we've been talking too much. We ain't get some of his stuff. He'll, he'll see you. We got to bring him on pretty right. soon. We're always talking about, hey man, I wish you could catch more fish. Man, everybody, I pull up and they're all on the treetop. 
Well, Daryl sent me this one that they yeah, they had some extra plumbing off a job site, and so they took some PVC and that flex line and some palmetto leaves and made some structure. Now, he said you set these down about five or six foot of water where you kind of know fish would be moving, and then you just set them down and say, you go back the next day and catch fish on them. That's now, what kind of fish? They Depends on they what kind of fish. They get better when they get the scum on oh, them, yeah. around them, just like everybody putting Christmas trees, but these last forever. My buddies... You know, they're not Italian like me. I always want to save a little money, but they're getting these buskets. You can buy them. I can buy them on the Internet. But one buddy, the Lake, the Lake St. John and the Lake Bruin, they, they, they buy them, pay $80 a piece for them. They're just a bucket. Every time they find paint guys and contractors, they get that bucket, fill it with concrete, put them PVC in it, and that's where we go. i got to tell you a story. A buddy of mine's got a hardware store at Baton Rouge because we're right at the end of the show. Uh, we got a little shout-out to do. But uh, he had about 50 of these buckets out, and uh, he, he just was giving them away. He told me, take some when you leave, take some when you leave. Nobody took them. So he said, you know, I think I know people pretty good. So he put the buckets kind of to the front of the building in the middle of the parking lot, put a $5 a bucket sign on it, they were all gone the next morning. Ain't that something? Yep, amen. They put it back, y'all, they stole it. Yeah, them people stopped them wasn't Italian, I promise <laughs> you. I don't want to talk about my people, but All right now, we, right now. we know that. Hey, you got a little shout out? Well, yeah, we got to. I'll tell you him. what we're going to do. We're going to come back and we're going we're to we're say goodbye. All right. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Hey, it's time to say goodbye, but before we do that, if you hadn't got your new license yet, you ain't got one. Get your license and dude, get out there and catch some fish. Thank you so much for that. The offshore permit, too. Yep, yeah. offshore permit. That's true, good. true. I now, got a letter that told me I thought I did mine. It told me I did. You got a special tribute to an old fishing buddy. Right, yours. right. Miss Sylvia White Zimmerly. Boy, I'm telling you what, she was one of the best fishing ladies I knew. She had a camp at Bell River. Chico Gonzalez's wife, Miss Liz, they used to sit on that porch, catch sackleg, catch bass, catch catfish. They go in the spillway in the boat, catch brim, goggle eyes. She loved to fish. What she really loved was going to fish the coast. I got some pictures of her that I got from her family. At a funeral today, I tell you what. Now, Listen, 1939 to 2018, that's a full life. I'll we, tell you what. We, well, cel we her, celebrate her life. All of her kids, all, all her kids, all of them, family, the girls, everybody, they all fish. Daughter-in-laws, everybody. So goodbye, Miss Sylvia. Say a prayer for me. Take care of me. Get rid of some of this black cloud. Also, we got to see if you saw we teased this week, uh, Wish to Fish and Jada Dean. Jada Dean is mom and daddy of Captain Matt McKay. Next week, you stay tuned. We got a great, great show. 
coming up with them out on the water and watch this young man cut up. Saw you some pictures today of him with his trophy, you know, at the weigh-in. But let me tell you what, wish the fish was gone. I I'm, missed. I'm you were there. You got, you know, got a couple of things with, uh, with Danica. Yep. Yeah, but it was the Sons of Saints. The deal, we did thing in a boat one time down at, 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 in the Wrigley's. But now this time, they, them kids were in a kayak. You should have seen them. Next week, we're going to bring you more. We're going to show you some pictures. How they, excited those they were fish plump. were. They were plump, can I tell you? And you yeah. have seen them kids. Hey, Sons all, of Saints. All good things come to an end. This show is about at that point. We thank y'all. We love you. Take care of God's great outdoors and pick up more trash than you bring. Pick up an extra bottle or two float. We love you. See you later. I like that little skinny outfit, man. Where can I get me one? We're going to do it. <laughs> Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Health Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. <laughs>